In this video, we're going to discuss the four different memory regions in a program. In this video, we're going to discuss the different memory regions in Java. And there are typically four different regions. The first one is the code. This is the region where the program instructions are stored, meaning all the code that you type, the source code, and it's stored in a .java file and it, that's usually on your computer's hard drive so that's one region of memory the next one is static memory where static fields and local variables are allocated uh, variables are declared inside methods using the keyword static and those go to static memory a stack is the region where me a methods local variables are allocated during a method call a method call adds local variables to a stack and a return statement will remove them from the stack. You can picture a stack as a can of Pringles where you take a potato chip off the top of the stack and if you want to put one back on the stack it goes on the top of the stack. It's The last one in is the first one out. And a heap is region where the new operator allocates memory for objects and the, this region is also called free store and in Java the code and static memory regions are actually integrated into a region of memory called the method area which also stores information for every class type used in a program so let's take a look at a diagram that illustrates all these different memory regions so here you can see we have a class called student and this is part of the code and imagine that in the student in the main method inside class student you created a student object and you called it s for student so looking down here in, in the call stack the first method that's called is main and you could see that on the stack it puts a reference for the student object called s and that actual student object is stored on the java heap right here and then there is, let's say there's a static variable called count, which keeps track of the number of different students there are, and that gets stored on the static memory right here. And then, as we created the new student by saying student s is assigned to new student, that constructor call right here, student, gets put onto the call stack, and on the actual stack, there's a this reference, for the student which points to the object there's an age integer variable and the name which is a string reference because string is also a, a class that gets put onto the heap so all your string objects get stored on the heap as well as student objects and then you may call the set name method inside class student and this one will reference the string that's on the heap and the student object that's also in the heap using name to reference the, the, the student's name and the, this reference reference the student's object. So hopefully you guys understand this diagram and that pretty much explains the different memory regions. Thanks for watching.